So there were a couple of uh, pieces of good news coming out of the Manufacturing Institute with regards to closing the skills gap. Both Secretary of Labor Alexander Acosta and House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy spoke at the National Association of Manufacturers, NAM, summit in Washington, D.C. just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they were speaking to highlight the importance of, uh, number one, manufacturers' role in closing the skills gap and also support for the Perkins Act reauthorization. Uh, the Perkins Act, if you're not familiar with it, uh, provides federal support to career education programs and actually has bipartisan support. So uh, on his part, Secretary Acosta emphasized apprenticeship programs and the critical role that apprenticeship programs play as part of the solution to workforce problems facing pretty much all manufacturers. Apprenticeship programs offer a critical opportunity for prospective employees to develop the skills needed for modern manufacturing. And what Acosta said is that by promoting apprenticeships and ensuring that the existing workforce development programs are effective and high quality, manufacturers are creating more affordable ways for students and actually the next generation to get jobs. And what Acosta basically did, if you listen to his speech, is lay the mantle of apprenticeship programs at the feet of manufacturers, basically challenging them to get on board with encouraging and uh, in, in supporting and developing apprenticeship programs, mm -hmm. which is something we've talked about here quite a bit. Yep. In fact, we talked about last week, last week. how we used to have them and then they disappeared. And apparently, same thing the UK, the UK experienced. It was the same thing. Everybody had apprenticeship programs and they kind of went away. We're trying to bring them back. Yep. Now, House Majority Leader McCarthy expressed support for something called the Perkins Act, and uh, the, the, the bill is up for re reauthorization. Uh, and it did pass in the House actually about a week ago, and it's now in the Senate. We'll see what happens there. It did stall in the Senate last year due to changes that Republicans wanted to make. So we'll see what happens this year if it, if it makes it through. If you aren't familiar with the Perkins Act, it's really just a continuation of vocational training legislation, which actually began in 1917 with something called the Smith-Hughes Act. It then became the Carl D. Perkins Vocational Education Act in 84. It's been modified a few times since then. But the idea is to provide an increased focus on academic achievement of career and technical education students. They've kind of changed it from vocational and kind of broadened it out a little bit. And that, you know, the idea is to strengthen the connections between secondary and post-secondary uh, education and improve state uh, and local accountability for those programs. So it's an, important, uh, it's an important act, been around for a long time. I think it's got about a billion dollar mm -hmm. budget if it gets reauthorized again. So, uh, so it was actually nice to hear that it's not just all, you know, blah, blah, blah coming from, coming from Washington. There is some emphasis on trying to build up things like apprenticeship programs, yeah. you know, uh, vocational education, technical education. You, you get the sense that, despite what we might hear and talk about here on the show sometimes, <laughs> that there is, there is this knowledge that we've got to be bringing up a more educated, technically educated workforce, and, yeah. and these are two ways to kind of support that. So. I don't think there's any debate about it. I mean, I think right. that, I mean, I, I do think at heart most uh, public servants do want to do things that help their constituency right. and help the country. Um, the problem is always competing needs and requirements. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. I mean, just finding the, the budget to do these things. I don't think anybody would argue that that's not a good thing to be doing, investing in. It's just like, well, how do you weigh it versus other right. priorities? That's always the problem. Okay. So it's tough, tough gig. But I think, yep. that, like you say, it sounds like they're really trying to move on. Yeah, that. I, so it that's, sounds like it. Yep. That's a good stuff. Good thing. Okay, great. Thanks, Dirk. All right. <laughs>